wanted to thank you for your relentless yes. releases of information. <laughs> I'm a former Malaysian. I live in Canada right now. And um, so I want to thank you for this quest for truth. And I, I just wanted to know if you are aware of some of the other whistleblowers. Because one MBD is only the tip of the iceberg. There's been Felder Global Ventures, 40 billion, 40 billion from the EPF, uh, Lumbaga Tabung Haji. You know, there's, I, I think my estimate is almost 200 billion that Najib has stole from the Malaysians. Yes, I am aware. Was that the end of the question? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. No. And thank you for bringing that up. I mean, you know, one MDB is such a huge soft topic of its own, and, and and you know, I didn't get to the end of what I was hoping to say on that. So, but absolutely, um, you are entirely right. And I, I and, and and I think this is what people on the inside, you know, people in the know, um, and, and why people like, uh, you know, the you know the, the the formidable Dr. Mahathir have been coming out so strongly because this looting is certainly not confined to 1MDB. And the Lembaga, I can't, what's the full name of the? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Taban Haji I have covered. Um, the, the other fund, um, as you say, there has been absolute full-scale looting. Um, I have covered where I can. Um, you know, when you're, when you're trying to do an investigation or story, sometimes, sometimes when there's a massive problem, Actually, you know, you just need to get a handle on what you can absolutely 100% slam dunk prove and throw that at them, you know. Um, we all know it's worse than that. We do. But, you know, um, you have to get a lever on what, what is absolutely concrete. And, and 1MDB has become that.